How's it going? Yeah, going good. Just Got awesome fights. See Cairo win. And also see Lecky, man, he's a up and coming prospect. Jeez, he's good. Yeah, just for the people uh, that don't know, we're in Thames Civic Center right now. Um, and Cairo, George is the main event, and we saw Marco as well, the co main event. Yeah, but I was live streaming it, so yeah, yeah. we would have seen it. Uh, check out my page and you'll see the file. We're not going to post it. A yeah. great fight. So um, it's nice to see you here supporting, you know, boxing. I mean, I, I always see Cairo, George, and you're in the back, in the backstage supporting you, so it's good to, you know. Yeah, I'll always come and support my brother Cairo. Yeah. Uh, he's a part of my team, as I'm a part of his. So it was cool. What a, it's an awesome, one of the best, smallest shows I've been to. George, George, George promotion is just really well organized. Can you just quickly talk about his performance today? Were you impressed by George? Yeah, it's good. The, look, the guy was tough. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's never been stopped before, uh, Daniel no. Ford. So, the guy yeah. is tough. Yeah. Um, uh, the guy, that guy's real tough. So, uh, Cairo did well to stop him. Like he said, he's never been stopped before. I'm sure he's had a long career until he's 37. And uh, as he said, he trained really hard for it. And uh, Cairo just ground him down. Those body shots were killer. That was it. So, Dave, so um, a few fights have gone off this week. So, I mean, I know you were supposed to fight in Brisbane under, you know, the undercard of Jeff Horn, but unfortunately he got punched in the larynx. Um, so that fight's going to be soon, I think, uh, April or May. What, so he's recovered from the larynx injury? Uh, I think so. I think it's going to be... I was told um, the fight's going to be pretty soon. Well, what are we now, Mark? So, um, a couple of months is tough being off for a couple of months, but it's good because um, I haven't really had much of a break, so... Okay. But I haven't really been having a break. I've been still training hard and working on it. I, I see you training with Rebel, um, yeah, with, with Shelton, Wright. Yeah. So, yeah, talk about training. How's it going? The training's going good. I've learned, you know, from uh, pre my experiences of being sick. And, uh, so, I've um, just focusing more on now uh, quality as opposed to quantity. Putting in uh, some really good work with uh, Mark and also uh, John Conway Rebel, where Shelton trains. And, um, one sec, bro. How are you? So you said you were training with Mark? And, uh, training with Mark, uh, I'm still putting all my hard work in with Mark, my head coach, and also now with John Rebel, John Conway, with Shelton Train, so everything's going awesome. Yeah, you're a superstar with your people are coming to you, want to get, you know, want to meet you. The, the following is growing, is it? I think my following is growing not just with boxing, but because of all the stuff I do in the community, with the weight loss stuff, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, stuff that's outside of boxing, which I'm very really happy with. TV3 come and filmed us last week or this week. Yeah, that's me. About my fruit and veggie drive that I do. Fruit and uh, veggie. Fruit and veggie drive. It will be fruit and veggie drive. I just try and help families. I've taken the excuse away. The excuse of uh, fresh produce being expensive. I've taken that away. We buy direct and everyone uh, puts in. We buy direct from turners and growers. And also from that, we've had a lot of donations of people donating to families. So we're fed this week, I think, five families. What? Is is this part of the Grace Foundation? No, no, it's just something I started. Oh, wow, that's yeah. awesome. Okay. It just came from a need that I saw and I jump, whatever I do, I go hard at, so. Yeah, because that's that's basically what people say, right? Three. Yeah. Come in. They, they say, How are you? I guess you got a point there, because everyone's blaming, you know, fast food is cheap, it's easy to get. That's why everyone goes yep. for it, yeah? Fast food is cheap, it's easy to get and um, convenient. But um, I'm taking the excuse away of it being expensive uh, and just really empowering it. It's, it's through my motivation group. It's really empowering people to, to eat healthy. You know, it's alright, but it's a balance too. I, if I want a burger, I eat a burger. But uh, I also eat healthy most of the time, as best I can anyway. I mean, every time I see you, you just keep looking better and better and Thanks, better. Man. I mean, thank you. Yes. Do you feel stronger as well? I feel good. Yeah. I feel now that I'm not training um, silly amounts. I feel like I'm um, getting the benefits out of my training. I've noticed your training is now more boxing oriented as yeah, opposed to strongman. Yeah, a lot, more boxing. Yeah, lot, yeah. lot more boxing. Yeah. Because uh, there's no point uh, lifting a tire heaps of time if you can't box. So. But I've done what I needed to do to lose the weight. You know, that was the start of the journey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, just, just quickly, uh, what are your predictions for tomorrow? Are you watching the UFC? I can't wait. Connor. Connor? It's going to be a real and good fight. Holly Holmes against. Uh, Holly Holmes, I think Holly Holmes, too good. Yeah, by kicks yeah. or. I guess I'm yeah. drunk people here. Yeah.
remember guys, eat healthy and stay away from alcohol, right? <laughs> balance. Yeah, balance. balance. That's exactly moderation. what it is. Moderation. Everything in moderation. Well, Butterbean, it's always a pleasure and an honor to talk to you. And yeah, keep inspiring the people. Always good to see you, my yeah, brother. Yeah, it's good to see you at these events. Yeah. yeah. yeah.